Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the brightness control function keys are not working properly or are functioning on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process for you guys on how to resolve the issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be just to go onto the internet and see if there's a different function key perhaps you're supposed to be using for your laptop you might be clicking in the wrong key. So that's something I'd recommend taking a look at. You may also have a mechanical issue with the function keys, which in that case, you would have to reach out to your tech company that you either purchased a laptop from or some sort of local shop, perhaps actually repair the key on your keyboard. This tutorial is gonna cover software fixes, doesn't really talk about you know replacing keys on your keyboard. So just keep that in mind, you know, this tutorial isn't going to be able to, you know, fix every issue. It's fixing software-related issues, so that's what we're going to target here. Something else we can try here would be to just go into the search menu. Type in updates, best match, or come back with check for updates. Go ahead and open that up. First thing I recommend doing would be to download and install all the relevant or new updates on your computer. But then once you've done that, I would scroll down here underneath more options and select advanced options. And then you want to scroll down again and underneath additional options, select optional updates. Often there are driver updates in here that might be able to help resolve the problem. There might be hot fixes in here. So I recommend taking a look into that. And then one other thing we can look into here as well would entail opening up the search menu and search for device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to double click on the display adapter entry in here and then right click on whatever display adapter is listed under here and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If you have a manufacturer specific one, I recommend installing that. Otherwise, you can install the basic one if you have to, but that's not the preferred option, I will say. And then select next. And then once that is done, you might get a black screen for a moment. And then just go ahead and close out of here. And I would suggest restarting your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do apologize to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.